Hey guys, it's Milk. Um, first off, before I say anything and start, I'm gonna say I'm sorry for if my eyes dart everywhere. It's really hard for me to look at this webcam um, and talk to it like it's a person. I just I know I know when I was testing, my eyes were just going fucking everywhere. So I apologize for that. Um, hi, and obviously I'm using a face cam. This is my face. I know a lot of you already know what I look like from other places, so it's not really a big deal for other people. It's my face, so I get it's not it's not anything very special or interesting. I'm just wanted to do it just for reasons I guess I'll get into in a little bit. But mainly I see a reason not to as well. So I'm gonna break this down into parts. I have these notes in front of me so I can kind of make sure I'm saying the important things I want to say, otherwise it's really just a ramble and not really a ramble because there's a clear focus and clear points that I'm trying to get across, but I'm going to just let myself talk about whatever might come to mind. So not scripted, I'm not going to edit it one because I'm lazy and two because it kind of detracts from the whole purpose of kind of just saying whatever I feel like saying relevant to these they're not issues, they're, they're points. So um, I'll have timestamps in the description too, so you can kind of skip past things that are not uh, interesting or relevant to you. So first off, hi. I think I already said hi already, so it's kind of awkward. Um, this is, it's going to be titled sign off because it kind of is a sign off, but it kind of isn't a sign off. Um, let me Let me just jump into the first point is I don't play League of Legends anymore. I know a lot of people, surprising to me as well, honestly, a lot of people find me through League of Legends videos, ASMR-wise, from quite some time ago. I think like four or five years ago was the last video I posted, but people are still watching those, and it was really crazy to me when I saw that one of them had 14,000 views. Um, to me that's, that's a huge number and it's absolutely like crazy that people are interested and watch that video. Unfortunately that video is number one League of Legends which I like I said I don't play anymore and number two it's um gum chewing and I hate the sound of gum chewing or like eating sounds so it's not even like I can go back to that video and say huh I wonder why people were so interested in this video because every time I hear it myself I'm just like stop. Um, so anyways, that's my first point is I don't play League of Legends anymore, so I apologize to, I know a lot of people are still finding me through that and they are kind of, I don't know, I, some of them I know are up, not upset, okay, but they're, they're just like, oh, why is she not putting out anywhere League videos? I don't play the game anymore and I'm sorry that I, I don't, I honestly don't play that genre at all anymore. I, I, I used to play um, League a lot actually, like too much like every day, hours a day. But it, honestly, it was it was too much. I still play a lot of games now, but it's not one game. It's not just like non-stop trying to do the same thing over and over again every 40 minutes. That That's I think my biggest gripe with the game is that I looked back on what I was doing and I was really just playing the same 40 minutes over and over again, not really gaining any sort of valuable experience or, I don't know, yeah, experience from, from playing the game. It was just trying to get better and the social aspect, I guess. So the social aspect is really, really fun. It's great. You get to play with your friends, hang out with them, spend time with them, but there are other games that let you do that too that are not so monotonous, toxic, and um, repetitive. So like like story-based multiplayer games or something like that. So really I don't play League of Legends anymore. I don't play really any big multiplayer, massive multiplayer game anymore. I used to play a lot of other MMOs as well and the same kind of thing. I'm just I'm sick of the grind, sick of repetition and feeling like looking back and saying I spent 500 hours on this game and didn't do anything 
as opposed to in that 500 hours I could have played like 10 JRPGs and experienced 10 different stories and seen someone's journey go from beginning to end and, and get to like live that experience with them which I is is honestly like my, my favorite part about video games so yeah first that was my first point is just addressing the fact that I don't play League of Legends anymore so there definitely would never be any more League of Legends videos or things like that that would come out but that kind of segues to my next point in that I really don't have any more planned ASMR videos or streams. And I know, I mean, it's not a big surprise and it's not like news or anything because I haven't really been uploading regularly at all because I'm, I'm a terrible YouTuber and I'm a terrible creator. I know I really just upload ad hoc, but I guess I kind of did come back a little bit recently with, um, uploading some videos and I wanted to kind of clarify this time I mean I guess like a couple video ago, videos ago it wasn't decided like this sorry my haircut is horrible like I got a cut during COVID and it's absolutely ass I just wanted it short but um yeah so it I guess initially when I came back I wasn't like okay I'm only gonna do a couple videos and that's it I was genuinely interested again but I reevaluated it and I've decided that I really am not planning any more videos or streams. That's not to say I won't randomly like be like, hey, I, I want to make something because I feel like it, I might, but I'm not planning on like creating for this channel really anymore, like actually prioritizing it or even thinking of it on a regular basis but yeah there might be random stuff because like even the other day I was playing Harvest Moon and let me let me show you my cow I've been standing next to my cow for a bit um there wait oh wait no you just see you just see him you just see my webcam but yeah you can kind of see it there's my cow um you can also see the reflection on my face because I feel like it's a little less awkward to look at myself than look at the camera. When I look at my camera, I'm like, what am I doing? Um, yeah, so I might, but I'm really not planning on it, so I'm sorry. Um, I think initially when I was thinking about how to say this, I was like, I'm sorry if anyone might possibly be disappointed by this end, but really trying to better myself and, and saying something like that is kind of like putting myself down for no reason and putting you guys down indirectly as well so what I'm gonna say is I'm sorry to disappoint people who wanted to watch more ASMR videos or something like that from me um, yeah what I did want to say was it's kind of a culmination of a lot of factors the less the more minor ones are kind of just like okay i live at home now it's kind of a pain in the ass to like you can see all my doors are closed right now and i'm still worried that someone might come in because my family's kind of like that um so there's also a lot of noise like randomly throughout the day because i'm at home and maybe also like fear of my parents being like what what are you doing? Why are you speaking so quietly into the microphone? Um, Etc. So that's like the minor reasons. The major, more major reasons, I guess, are that primarily when I started, my main enjoyment has always been video games, okay? Like, they're my. I really enjoy video games, like, too much, to be honest. I played. I can't say I played. I played and still play way too much video games probably you probably don't want to know how many how many hours i play video games a day um that was always my primary passion i also really do enjoy asmr like i watch asmr videos all the time um a lot of mine is triggered unintentionally honestly from like medical videos because i was uh, studying neuroscience and or just people talking about things that they're really knowledgeable about. That's generally what does it for me. So I guess one day I was like, huh, 
I like video gaming and I like ASMR. I wonder if there's something like out there for, for that, um, that community. And then I found the subreddit, I found some other channels and I was like, this is really interesting. Maybe I could try to share my passion for both and see if I can meet other people, like-minded people. And I guess when I think about it now, it, that was always really the primary goal. I've never been a creator or a, like a creative person. Honestly, I hate, I hate creating things. I hate art. I hate, yeah, the, the whole process. Like I, I'm not that sort of creative individual that gets pleasure out of just solely creating something. Like I know a lot of people on YouTube, those really successful creators are, they love that whole process. That's not me. I've always liked playing video games and then I liked ASMR and I was like, maybe there's something there and that I could do just like by enjoying both. But I gotta stop saying like, it's a bit, it's a personal mission to improve my public speaking as well. But yeah, sorry, I lost my train of thought. I am not a creator. I realized that the amount of effort that a lot of the other creators make, big mainstream ASMR artists spend so much time planning their videos, uh, getting props together for their videos, writing scripts for their videos, and recording their videos and then editing their videos, but I don't draw enjoyment from any of those things. I enjoy playing games, I enjoy interacting with people, I enjoy meeting people and talking with them, but I don't enjoy that whole content creation process. And it's not to say there wasn't a balance, like it definitely there balanced out with like rewards, being able to create something that you find out people enjoy. It's really amazing. Like honestly, I'm elated when people comment or they like my video. Like when you guys see something and, and tell me about it, it really makes me happy. Like hundred percent. So it makes it worth it. But I'll say that I used to think that if I said, okay, well, people who don't can't stand creating for one person or two people at the beginning and can't stick it out. They weren't meant to be creators in the first place. Um, I, I actually don't know my stance on this. I think it's, it's kind of undecided, but I don't think it's fair to say that they're shitty people because of being unable to create for small communities. I think that's what I'm trying to say is I used to sit, think, okay, well, if I can't create for these two or three people that actually do enjoy watching, then I'm a terrible person. But I don't think it's like that. I think there's definitely a balance. And for those people who love creating things and they can create for one, two people, that's fantastic. That, that's amazing for them. But for me, I can't do that. The creation process is more of a means to the end for me, for me to be able to interact with p these people and realize I'm interacting with these people through a medium and knowing not even, it's not even a comparison thing. It's not even like saying, oh, other channels have so many more people watching. It's just a knowledge of, of the fact that con my content is not particularly desirable or interesting, um, largely in part because I don't put in the effort created of it, but it's, it's a balance, right? Like if I more enjoyed the creation process, then yeah, it, it would probably increase the number of people who would be interested. But I, at the end of the day and at the heart of it, I always just wanted to play games and experience ASMR and interact with people who are in both communities because I really like both communities. Well, I'll say most of the video game community, not all of it. Um, so yeah, the end product of that was that I'm not really planning on making any more videos or create, uh, 
contributing to contributing. I want I want to say contributing, but that's, that's that's yeah again like offensive to both me and and you. So like yeah, contributing to the ASMR community. So yeah, I disabled because Twitch doesn't have deletion. I disabled the my other Twitch, my my not my other Twitch, the the Twitch you probably know of if you know about it, the Milk ASMR Twitch. Because I was streaming a couple of days when I was like uh, in the past couple of weeks, because I was interested. I I didn't want to make videos anymore because I'm not a creator. I wanted to interact with people, but I guess I don't draw in enough people, or maybe I didn't dedicate myself long enough. Lots of reasons, I'm sure, to find enough people to interact with. Like usually, like one person, two people. Okay, but. It's again that that balance was not met, and it kind of just detracts from the experience, and almost kind of makes it not fun anymore for me. Because honestly, yeah, creating ASMR is is such an arduous process in terms, and I, I'm not even doing it properly. I'm gonna say is I'm I'm just playing a video game with a microphone and trying to capture sounds. I'm not editing, I'm not... I don't intentionally try to speak in a certain way or enunciate. Like, you know ASMR artists, they curate every word that comes out of their mouth or make tons of mouth sounds when they're speaking or like a lot of it is visual as well, like hand movements and things like that. I don't do any of that, so really I wasn't putting in all the effort that could have been put in the first place. I lost my train of thought while I was talking about this. I think I feel like I talked about this point already, but yeah, um, what I was saying is like, it's a lot of work to really create good ASMR content. If it was specific for gaming, I feel like I should, I could have done so much more and I didn't because that to me would detract from my enjoyment of the game as well, which like I said before was has always been my primary focus and what I primarily enjoyed and it's more about me that being my enjoyment and me wanting to share that enjoyment with other people as opposed to my primary goal having been hey I want to create content for people. So yeah I think that wraps it up well in that I don't want to make any more ASMR videos or streams at least planned like ad hoc maybe, I don't know. On the other note though, I am trying to stream more on Twitch and that in a non-ASMR way. And that's for a couple of reasons. Um, first of all, non-ASMR is in quotations because I pretty much talk almost the same. Like I said, I do not curate what how the way I spoke before for my ASMR videos. I just made sure to remain calm so if I if bullshit happened to me I would make sure not to scream or something. I would just react to it in a calm way. That that's another downside of like not downside but like difficult challenge or work that you have to do in making a summary videos you always have to be stay calm or you edit it out of course. Um the this is all work that you're doing as a creator and it, it gets uncomfortable because you're like oh, I have to sit perfectly and not make any sounds or, or edit it out either after. So either way it's work, either I don't make sound now or I edit it out later. Um, instead of just being able to play a game and enjoy it as I would have normally enjoyed it in the first place. So again, I just kind of went back to the other point, but what I'm saying about the Twitch um, non-ASMR thing is it's pretty much the same thing except I'm allowing myself to like get mad at shitty moments like some guy coming out of nowhere and stabbing me in the back like bullshit or like a glitch that gets me killed like I can actually say shit about that and say shit like swear words and whatever but um yeah so on two reasons why I want to stream on twitch it's 
like I said earlier, I play a lot of video games. And like a lot of video games. And there are times where I will get so absorbed in a game. That that's what I what I enjoy about video games is that immersion aspect aspect of really getting into that world and experiencing everything that ha that happens in there. And that can get to the point where I spend disappear for like two to three weeks in real life and, and people who know me will straight up will attest to this. They'll be like, where the hell did she go? Like when I, the first time I played Mass Effect, I was gone. I was dead to the world, completely gone. Nobody knew where I was. People were like, what the hell happened? And people who knew me well were like, she's probably playing a game. We'll probably hear from her from a bit, but maybe we should check up on her eventually. <laughs> Anyways, I realized that when I play on Twitch, because I played Dark Souls the first time on Twitch and I met a lot of people that way, is it helps you kind of remain alive to the real world. It also, it, it's a lot of fun to get to talk to people about these games you enjoy because a lot of these games I play and get immersed in for two weeks. I come out and I'm just like, well, it's over. I don't have anyone to talk to it about. I wish there was someone I could talk to you about this scene or this thing that really hit me and uh, I, I mean there's reddits, there's facebooks, but it's hard, it's hard to find people like you want and, and it's different talking to people that you like strangers on the internet as opposed to people that you know or people that experienced it with you and I, I really enjoyed that aspect when I was playing um, like Dark Souls on Twitch and a couple other games on Twitch when I was streaming a couple years ago. And more recently on my Discord, I have been kind of streaming with the screen share function on my Discord, just random games and my friends and people will just jump in and come watch and it, it's fun. It's, it's a different kind of fun. It's different from drowning yourself in this game by yourself and disappearing to the world and coming out like what am I doing in this real life thing and I, I think it's a good way of grounding myself and keeping in touch with people at the same time because I love video games and I honestly wouldn't give it up I wouldn't be I wouldn't be able to say hey Instead of playing video games, I should hang out with real people. Oh god, that's, that sounds terrible. But this would help balance it. I sound like a total hikikomori or an otaku, but that's fine. I, if you got this far, you, I, I trust you to not judge me for that. So yeah, I am going to stream on Twitch for that reason, because I think it's really enjoying. Enjoying. English. It's really in enjoyable. <laughs> it's really enjoyable, and I like sharing my experiences. And I like I well, first of all, I love playing games, and then being able to talk to people about it and share with people and interact with people is fantastic. And another portion of it is also it's going to sound weird, but to better myself. In the past two-ish years, I've been really learning to not give a shit about what people think of me in real life. So, in terms of, I don't know, everything. Clothes I'm wearing, how I look, how I act. I mean, unless I'm an asshole, that's, that's a little bit different, but like, other things. I, um, constantly thinking, okay, people are judging me, that kind of thing. And I've gotten a lot better about that in real life, and then I realized that when I was trying to stream, all of a sudden everything came back and I was like, I can't do this. People, I'm scared of people judging me, I'm scared of people thinking I'm uninteresting or um, ugly or disgusting or just stupid things like that and I think it's a good um, challenge for myself to just be like fuck 
fuck that like why do I care I should just put myself out there and then um not really care like there are people there that come hang out with me and watch me regardless and it's really just to yeah, improve myself and just stop caring about what people think and people judging me um yeah so a couple those are like the two main reasons why I'm gonna switch over and I'm gonna say that I'm gonna try to stream on Twitch regularly and really dedicate to myself to it because yeah it's it's really enjoyable I'll say right now like I've I've had so much fun in the last couple of days just like talking to people I'm playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey that's what I'm playing right now and I love it hopefully I'm crossing my fingers you're not gonna come across this video six months from now see it and then see that I haven't streamed in, in six months <laughs> because that'll be really really sad but I think it'll be a good challenge honestly I won't I won't hold it against myself if I don't it's a challenge I'm gonna put to myself for now I'm going to stream at least the rest of Assassin's Creed Odyssey that's my goal and we'll see from there like it's really fun for now and I like it so that's what I'm gonna do so if you are interested and you don't have to be like I totally understand if you only were here for League then again you probably haven't stuck around this long in the video then yeah you're not gonna you're not gonna want to watch or if you're only interested in Ace Red, then yeah you're not going to want to watch that's fine I there's do not click follow just for like respect or something the if you're interested then yeah come hang out with me on twitch and i would love to say hi to you and talk to you guys um anyone who is interested in both asmr and video games i'd love to get to know like that's fantastic you have two of the best interests ever so um it'd be it'd be cool to say to get to know you guys more I know some of you guys already and I've met a lot of people who are fantastic through here like probably some of you watching um, and it'd be great to get to know more people or keep in touch with these people so if you want to go there or you can also go to my discord which is the next line and same kind of thing like if you don't if you don't want to watch my streams like I'm still trying I, I really do want to create a community there are a lot of people there now who I play games with often that I met through various walks of life whether it be in person or through various different games some from league some from MMOs some from in person some from uh, ASMR there's people everywhere there and I would love to meet more people who are interested in similar things whether it be just to chat about stuff and get more ASMR video recommendations or play video games with because anyone watching this I'm sure is going to be interested in both and I it'd be really cool to you know chat and I feel like I'm doing a dating profile but I'm just, sorry I'm not um like a dating introduction video but yeah um join the discord if you're interested if you're not that's fine um but it'd be cool i'm trying to create like different sections for each interest so like there's an ASMR thing which has no one in it right now except um i think three of us but if it could grow that'd be really cool and i think it be a fun thing and I'm just reiterating myself now so I'll stop um yeah to wrap things up basically bye but not really um I want to say thank you to everyone who has watched this far and even those who haven't watched this far, anyone who's watched any of my videos in the past, liked them, commented on them, that was, it honestly made me really happy and I'm super grateful for people enjoying the things that I made and it, it was really fun. And I guess I will see you 
some of you see, some of you not, doesn't matter. Regardless, have a great, I don't know, okay, if saying have a great life sounds so fucked up, but, <laughs> but yeah, um, have a great night. Um, I hope we speak again one day under, in a different life, under better circumstances. <laughs> um, yeah, bye-ish. I will, of course, like I said, probably one day make random videos because I feel like it, like, looking at my bookshelf back there, I was looking at all my, my huge collection of Kingdom Hearts Japanese books, and I was like, oh, it'd be cool to go through all of these because I can't read Japanese yet, so they're kind of just sitting on my shelf, but I would just like browse through them or something, and it might, it might be cool, so maybe there'll be random videos, but don't expect, expect nothing, <laughs> but um, yeah, so TLDR and goodbye, um, I don't play League, I'm not gonna plan on making any more ASMR content, I think there's a lot of better creators out there who put a lot of effort and deserve all the recognition that they get, and me, myself, I'm not a creator, and it's gotten to, it's kind of not as enjoyable for me to keep creating stuff. The young me would have been like, hey, I can do everything, it doesn't matter, I can, I have time to do uh, regular gaming and ASMR stuff. And, and it's true, like, I do have time, I could always make time to do it, but do I want to spend my time doing that? It's a hard question for me to answer, and I, and I ended up saying no. So, yeah. Um, yeah, see my non-ASMR Twitch stream if you're interested. I am looking, currently looking for husbandos in Assassin's Creed Odyssey, aka I'm recruiting every single mercenary that exists as a ship lieutenant, and gonna freaking take every man to bed that I possibly can. And finally, join my Discord if you don't mind that it's a quite small community at the moment, but I really do want to keep in touch with many of you and get to meet many of you. So that's it for me. This has been a lot longer than I expected it to be. I thought it would be like five, ten minute video. It's been 33 minutes. So I'm going to stop because I know I've been saying the same things over and over again, which means I've got a long way to go in terms of being a concise speaker, though I guess my excuse is that in a presentation I would at least have gone over it, so it's not a good excuse, but it's a little one. But yeah, that's it for me. I will see you on the flip side. Goodbye. And thanks. <laughs>